from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 458 for Thursday, September 29th, 2020. And this week we have banter, news, updates, the Pilot Vanishing Point, limited edition for 2022, a sailor, a penlux, a contest winner, a new contest, plus revamped Visconti Rembrandt pens that are coming soon. Those are so pretty. And a joke. Ooh. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Steph. What do you call an annoying teen? <laughs> I have two names, but I don't know. <laughs> a minor inconvenience. Nice. I called mine Garrett and Lindsay. (laughs) Fair, fair. (laughs) Today we are coming to you guys live from the Eroding Winds Record Shop, which is uh, right up the store, right up the road from the store in Appleton by about 500 feet. They're a new brick and mortar vinyl focused record store. Oh, very cool. Does all sorts of new LPs and new music too. I don't. I don't know how LPs work. They, they spin. Oh, they go around. They're the. They're okay. All right. <laughs> well, that's exactly I'm what sh- I was picturing. I'm wonder, glad I was on board. I wonder if Brian's been down. He loves vinyl records. Oh, interesting. Yes. We'll have to ask him. Yes. And apparently tomorrow is an international podcast day. Ooh, does that mean we get to go overseas to do this? Oh, that's do a great idea. Pick? Let's go. Yeah. Yes. Where uh, do you want to go? Normally, my default is France. Okay. The France. Okay. From, coming to you from live from the Eiffel Tower. It's behind the wall. Or Greece. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. I could use some sun for a day. So anyway, mm-hmm. all right, tomorrow is International Podcast Day. Yeah. It's a great opportunity to collect, connect with fellow podcasters, podcast listeners, and podcast enthusiasts. Maybe tomorrow, in honor of podcast day, I will actually remember how to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, probably not. But... Check out internationalpodcastday.com for more information and probably lots of links to podcasts. And it was first celebrated in 2014 as National Podcast Day, but quickly evolved to International Podcast Day. She couldn't keep it contained. I, I always wonder who thinks of these things and decides, I'm just going to make like a day. Yeah. How do, you, how do you have enough friends to make it a day? I don't know. We no. should contact them and ask. We should how just, did you make and Yeah. And so this Saturday, this is all about me. Oh, yeah. International Coffee Day on Saturday, October 1st. I don't know about you, but for me, every day is International Coffee Day. I know, right? I'm like, I'm going to start celebrating early. (laughs) (laughs) How about after this? All right. So according to Harvard's health publishing study, coffee drinkers tend to live longer. Longer? I thought it was just faster. Uh, I think that the people who are around them tend to live longer because if you're drinking coffee, then you don't want to kill anybody. There you go. That's it, Everybody wins. <laughs> this is crazy. The second largest trading commodity after crude oil is coffee and the most consumed beverage after water. I can believe that. Coffee mm. beans are called beans just because of the resemblance, but they're actually berries. <sighs> Nothing is ever beans anymore it's or like vegetables. A Everything's a berry. And, yeah. <laughs> Everything's weird. All right. What else do we have? Mm-hmm. All right. And exciting news. Um, you are very close to missing the boat if you haven't gone yet to the sailors. Don't miss the boat sale. That ends tomorrow, September 30th. I can't believe it's the end of September. Yeah. Uh, when did that happen? Apparently. Just, not quite, but. 28 <laughs> days ago. Um, so this is a very, um, not very common uh, thing for sailor to allow retailers to discount the prices. So if you have been putting this off, buy your pen that has been discontinued, that is marked down on the website um, before uh, end of day tomorrow, because uh, after that, prices are going up. Yes, yes. If there's anything that you want that's on those list, it will never be cheaper than it is right now. Yes. And then mm-hmm. prices go into effect on Saturday, October 1st for uh, Loic term. There is a new price increase. Mm-hmm. And for Sailor, but not the North American exclusives. So that's something. That's a good way to summarize that. There you go. There we go. 
It makes so much more sense to me now. And we also have the Twisby Eco in cerulean blue. Those pre-sales began yesterday. No, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. And we are shipping them starting today. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Ooh. We'll have to check it out in just oh. a minute. What do cows most like to read? Catalogs. Just in this week, we have the Pilot Vanishing Point Limited Edition for 2022, the Red Coral. You know, I wasn't sure what to think about this when we originally saw the pictures because a couple years ago, there was the Vivid Red and- I was wondering about that a too. Uh, a few years ago, we also had the um, Sunset something. I should know this, oh, but I can't yeah. remember. The Ombre that came after Twilight mm -hmm. that was kind of different shades of, of red. And so this is definitely pinker. Yeah. You're the color expert these days. Pink and you know, kind of a corally pink. So it's definitely not fire engine red, mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely, I, I certainly wouldn't call it hot pink. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those in-between ones where I think if you put it next to a bunch of red pens, it looks pink. And if you put it next to a bunch of pink pens, it looks red. And, and it's just... Is just right in the space between there. But what I love is these little sparkles. If you look really, really close, it's what got sparkles? like a little metallic sparkle to it. How does Eric not have one? I know, right? Yeah, very pretty. Your your standard pilot vanishing point. So it's everything you know and love in just the cool new color for 2022. Yep. Apparently it is inspired by the uh, red coral that grows at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. Cool. Yeah, um, they uh, made amulets out of it for thousands of years for that were worn for protection during sea voyages. It was commonly believed to guard against evil and ill will. So I wonder if this pen also does the that same. That would be great. I could use mm -hmm. that. Yes. Um, red is also the color that summons good fortune, health, and strength. We could all use some of that. Yeah, yeah. I never say no to health, good fortune, health, or strength. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, the... Um, it is limited to 2022 pens. All right. I wonder how they came up with that. <laughs> and it comes, of course, with your proprietary piston converter, your pilot cartridges, and the cartridge cap. And that cool box with the drawer in it. Yeah, that is pretty. I don't know why I love I, that box so much. But I do like it. It brings joy. <laughs> All right. What else? All right. I haven't seen these. Dun, da, da, da. The Sailor 1911 Shikiori 5th <gasps> Anniversary Pens. So I got the ballpoint. I also have oh, the ballpoint. Are we sold out of the fountains? We are sold out of the fountains. That was fast. I so know. These are interesting. I really like the color. I, I, am, I am not going to lie. I was considering buying a fountain pen or a ballpoint or maybe both. And now the fountain pens are sold out. So it's a really pretty sage green barrel. It's got a clear cap that has sparkles. It's so it's pretty. More, more widely spaced gold sparkles. It's not like shimmer, like you're kind of used to. Um, nice size. I like it. It's it's thinner. Um, it's pretty. They haven't done, Sailor, to my knowledge, or at least recollection, Sailor hasn't done a clear ballpoint. So you've never seen some of this before. So that was interesting. Yeah, I really, I liked that the uh, that the little bits of the mechanics of the ballpoint that are showing through are actually, they, they correspond in color with the rest of everything. I wonder if they're always gold on the inside or if they just did that for this one to make it look better. But it looks gorgeous. I don't know. It's just, it's really nice. It's cool. And it's cool to watch it when you extend or retract it and it moves. <laughs> I'm just now I intrigued know. by the technology. Completely mesmerized there anew. So the Shikiori mm -hmm. Pen Series uh, celebrates its fifth anniversary. I cannot believe it's been that long. I know, right? I remember when these started. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, I guess I need my glasses. The mm -hmm. fifth anniversary Minori means bountiful harvest in Japanese. It's designed to echo the colors in the rice paddies. Uh, with the soft reflection of sunshine, uh, with the soft reflection of a blue sky in the body, green growing rice shown in the section, and golden hour sunshine glinting off the, s the water at sundown, captured in the cap. Okay. I can see the sunshine at there sundown. 
I'm uh, seeing it. The fountain pen features mm. uh, gold plated, gold ion plated accents and a 14 karat gold medium fine nib, and comes with a bottle of color changing ink. I do like that they're including that more and more now. Yeah, yeah, and I think uh, that that ink is a really pretty color too. Kind it, of goes down green and then it dries to like this like nice medium golden hue. Yeah, very very pretty, and it's just I really I think they've they've. They've done some really nice job uh, job with uh, capturing natural beauty with the Shikiori series. I really like the green. <laughs> they, it's just very soft and soothing, and and you know, so many pens these days are just bright and vibrant and throw as many colors as you can in there. And this is just really soft and gentle. And yeah, it kind yeah, of the, talks to me. Shikiori series has a lot of pens where I just pick them up and I go, ah, <sighs> exactly. All right, what else do we have? I'm so out of practice. Thanks for having me up. You and me again, Girls Club. Yeah, love it. Hmm? I don't know that we actually do have a piece for this guy. We might have to, right. have to wing it. I have the Penlux Masterpiece Grande uh, Marble Wave. That you can have a cap. I'll share it with you. you oh, good. Cap. Yay. I haven't actually seen this in real life yet. The pictures are beautiful. But. Body and cap in really, really pretty swirling um, dark red and black um, resin accented with the gold plated trim. Oh, it kind of evokes yeah. the elegance of a hazy jazz lounge with red velvet booths and black bar stools. I see I it. can see that. It's, it's definitely... Um, Dark and, and moody and um, just really, again, not super vibrant and in your face. So yeah, this, like is, that. this is a class act, this yes. pen. Ooh, if I nice. listen to the inside of the cap, I swear I can hear Frank Sinatra. Nice. <laughs> yeah, very pretty. Um, as always, a piston fill only, uh, steel Yovo um, steel nib, and uh, just a really good writer. We sell these uh, well in Chicago. Great writer and a gorgeous pen. There's really nothing not to love. There you go. Unless you have teeny tiny hands, but they have a smaller pen now too. They do, but not in that color. Not in the and then the available nib sizes are fine, medium, broad, and the 1.1 stub. Fabulous. <coughs> All right. Should we do the, uh, this guy next? Yes. All right. All right. Also new this week, we've got the Twisby Eco in Cerulean Blue. <gasps> That's a pretty one. Isn't it, though? Oh, my goodness. They've done so many blue pens, but this one is... Oh! Yeah, this one's... I like it. Mm -hmm. I, I always say I don't like clear pens, and I don't like pistons. I do finally... Have a Twisby Eco in the jade because that's just really pretty. But this It's not is, even clear if you fill it with ink, then it's ink. I know, but you know, I'm one of those people who, when you get it half empty, I feel the need to constantly refill it, which is why I don't like clear pens. Understandable. But this is a pretty color. That is so pretty. Yeah. So Cerulean Blue, you know, you, you really have to hand it to Twisby for constantly refreshing the line, coming out with some colors that are limited, some colors that are standard production, and so you always have lots of options. Yeah, and they stay true to this nice, fun, bright sense of just like a good pen that you can pull out and use anywhere. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. When should you go at red and stop at green? When eating a watermelon. All right, so talk to me about your contest. So Eric wanted to know how many bottles of ink on the wall for everyone. I think his secret goal was to just get that song stuck in my head. How many bottles of ink on the wall? How many bottles of ink? Did you ever sing that like on a family road trip and drive I, your parents crazy? I don't think I've gotten any farther than 72 bottles of ink on the wall before the car was stopped and we were gonna sit Shut at a gas up. station and go no further until I stopped. <laughs> Now, this, this has to be a typo. Yes. Our guesses had a very wide range. We, we Our lowest guess was seven inks on the wall. You know, they were to, playing it safe. To, so, oh, here. Yes. Oh. So, last week, oh, see, Justin I'm... panned across the entire ink wall to show okay. everybody all of the ink bottles. and. Oh, and so people, see, I don't even know what the contest was. So, clearly, uh -huh. I lost. <laughs> I'm working down I there. I bet your guess wouldn't be I'm too bad. I'm working down there. If you had to guess, what would you think? 
I don't know. I just pay the bills. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Um, so somebody guessed anywhere from seven. Oh, come on. There's more than that. To 7,450. 7,450. Okay. I know. I, I've been I've been corrupted. I know the answer. I can't guess. But I don't. So educate me. All right. So. Let's see. So a couple of comments. We'll go through what a couple of other people guessed. So Melanie Bodel says, I came here for pen, news, and banter, but I got assigned homework in the form <laughs> of a math problem. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll play your game and guess 2,700 ink bottles. Now, of course, this changes every day, depending on what we get in and what we sell and whatever. So, Yeah, um, yeah. I feel like a lot of these are going to be right at some point. Yes. Hmm? Uh, Angela Harrison says, happy autumn to y'all from down south in Virginia. My honey and I love the podcasts. His guess on the ink wall is 527, although I think it is more like 1527. By the way, we had the pleasure of shopping with Lisa hey. during our visit to Chicago this week. I know Left her. with everything we wanted, including a vanishing point and a Harriet Tubman Retro 51. Thanks for the Midwest hospitality, witty banter, and professionalism. Ah, uh, I remember them. Ah. I do have a lot of fun people who come in. I have a lot of regulars. I have a lot of tourists. I have a lot of... Um, confused people who are like, wait, you sell just pens? So <laughs> those are always fun. All right, what else do we have? Let's see. Rich Johnson slowed the video down and used Google Maps, <laughs> threw a nickel into my fountain pen, and came up with the correct number. I could have just said a lot, but I won't. There are exactly 1,012 bottles of ink on that wall. Nice. Confidence. Wow. I, I appreciate that. All right. That's Paul Herman... Went the other direction. Said, my guess, 4,500. It's also Elephant Appreciation Day. What weighs 4,000 pounds and wears glass slippers? Cinderella Fent. <laughs> nice. Nice. Same amount of podcast now with 100% more jokes. There you go. Yes. And Karina loves to plan, says, I look forward to Thursdays. Your podcasts help brighten the day. Thanks. And my guess, 1,406 bottles in the store. And okay. And now... All right. I have no idea. This is fun. The actual numbers of ink bottles on the ink wall when Justin took the video. Drum roll. 2,801. Wow. Who counted? I am impressed. I have no idea. <laughs> wow. That's a sucky job for all of you. Yeah, somebody had a rough day. <laughs> and it's not even inventory. We have to do it again in December. <laughs> all right. So the winner of this week's contest with the closest guess is Alvin Brooks 80. My guess of ink bottles on your ink wall is 2,835. Oh, but probably was earlier in the morning before we shipped everything out. So, Alvin Brooks 80, please write to Eric at andersonpens.com and he will place the $20 credit on your uh, store credit on your Anderson Pens account. Excellent. That's all. All right. All right. Oh, I know what this is. And, ooh, a new survey. Now, this week's contest and survey question comes directly from Eric because he is curious or asking for a friend, depending on which mood and you catch him. And he's usually very inky. Yes. So. How do you get ink off your hands? Is there a particular soap do you use? Do you use a product designed specifically for that purpose? Do you use a brush? Have you ever tried bleach? Ooh. Ooh, God, that would make me itchy. Do you ever simply never get ink on your hands? I don't, I don't <laughs> believe that anybody never, ever gets something on their hands. Do you ignore ink on your hands until it goes away? That's me. Do you wear gloves so as to not get ink on your hands? Oh. I've never tried that. Wouldn't that get hot and sweaty? I think I would spill twice as much ink because I would not be I've able to. I've seen you spill ink. Yeah, that's... There's a big stain on our carpet we had to cover with a throw rug from stuff. Many, many years ago. <laughs> I am the reason for that employee safety protocol. Yep. Right. Yep. So how do you get ink off your hands? Let us know in the comments, or shall we say let Eric know in the comments. Because um, he needs your help. <laughs> he usually does. So how long does that ink stay on his hand? It depends on the ink. That's okay. Because I... you guys see him every day mm -hmm. through your, your Google Hangout. And so when he does his ink... 
thing. Does he ever like still have colored hands the next day? There was a blue one that kept going. There was a blue one that turned blue and then purple and then like a little bit of magenta for a while. And I made the, I caught you red handed jokes so many times <laughs> that even I got sick of it. Okay. <laughs> Coming, Coming soon. soon. I am excited about this. Um, Visconti 2022 Rembrandt cr- collection. It's actually the Rembrandt S collection. They just added that after I learned about it. Um, so the iconic Rembrandt has been renovated, updated, four new colors that are um, brighter. And I really like that oh, they yeah. are um, a little more vibrant. They just have a little more oomph to them. Yeah, it looks like the acrylic has a little bit more contrast in it, so you can see all those cool swirls and yep. stuff a little bit better. I know I remember the orange is really lovely. That one was the one that jumped out to me. Yep. Newly designed cap ring, and they are now doing ruthenium trim and a new German-made larger nib. So the nib is physically larger. So this is really a lot more oomph overall. It's got the cool dark trim. It's got the bigger nib. I mean, this is just a whole big brother to what they used to have. And black trim matches with everything. Yes. Uh, The collection is launched in four new colors, black, blue, orange, and Bordeaux. Um, All of them are really pretty. I've seen them. Uh, Each mixed with uh, marbleized brush strokes of black resin. And oh, that's where that contrast is coming from. Yep. Cool. The new nibs are um, Schmidt made, and they will be offered in fine, medium, and broad. They will also be available in rollerball and ballpoint. There you go. All I'm right. excited. Can't wait to see you. All right. Well, that's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, wait, I'm not done. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just to annoy Justin. It's just oh. so much fun. So Brian is in Chicago today. Uh, he came down um, on Saturday, and uh, we have spent the weekend with my brother and his girlfriend. She came in to Chicago to run the Chicago Half Marathon. And so I was looking forward, of course, to coming home, seeing the cats, seeing you all, and just getting away for a little bit because it has just been nonstop fun and laughter. And it I don't get a whole lot of that sometimes down in Chicago by myself. Um, so Jeff's girlfriend, Ruthie, ran the marathon and, and like without anybody chasing her. I it, I don't get it. I would I feel like I would run a lot faster in marathons if someone was chasing me. But. but there were so many people in Chicago. And then my brother clearly loves this woman because he got up at 4.30 in the morning to go to Michigan Ave's to put her on the... Um, on one of the school buses that they were using to shuttle everybody down to the starting point. And um, then he went back to the hotel and back to bed. (laughs) And then had a heck of a time getting down back there. Literally like two minutes after he finally got back, she crossed the finish line. So he got there just in in time. That is just in time. He's never heard that one before. I know. I know. But we had a great time. We did dinner. We did drinks. We just um, had a really, really good time. So it's nice to just kind of have like double dates and talk about things other than work. Whoa. I know. I didn't think mm-hmm. that was possible. So that was kind of fun. So got to, got to have, 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 have a some whole fun. life. I know. Awesome. I, I miss that. So anyway, that's my update on life in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Um, so thanks for joining us. Tune in for next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Rumor has it there's also a store in Chicago. Yes. Mm -hmm. On the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton, inside the building, there is no sign. We've been trying for four and a half years. Um, And the website there is chicago.andersonpens.com. And definitely check it because we will be having some upcoming... um, notifications. We're hoping to have um, Mike and Linda Kennedy back uh, early next year for another nib and pen repair event. Party at Lisa's store. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we are going to close for a couple days in January while Brian and I go to Florida to see my family. Oh, awesome. Yep. Go see my mom. I made her a promise that during the year that she turned 80, my mom, my brother, and I would all get together and she can't travel to Chicago. So... I'm, I, I'm obligated no to, go to, to go to Florida, Florida in, in January. Mm-hmm. So it's, there you go. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. That's it. Bye. Thanks.